Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to connect my SQL database in Java using Eclipse IDA. So let's get started. To begin, open Eclipse and navigate to the File menu. From there, select New and then choose Java Project. Name your project My Project and click Finish. Next, in the SRC folder, right click on the project and create a new class named JDB's example. Inside this class, start by writing the main method. The first step in connecting to a database is to register the driver. To do this, use the class dot for name method, which takes a string as an argument. In this case, you'll enter com.mysql.cj.jdbc.driver. This line will likely throw an exception, so make sure to add a throws declaration for class not found exception. Moving on to the second step, you'll establish the database connection. Use the connection interface and initialize it with drivermanager.getConnection. The URL for the connection should be in the format jdbc colon mysql colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 3306 forward slash db underscore name and you'll also need to provide the database username and password, typically root for both in a local setup. Don't forget to import the connection interface from java.sql and add a throws declaration for SQL exception. Once the connection is established, you can verify it by adding a print statement like system.out.println, connection created. Save your work with Keterol plus S and then run the code by right-clicking the class and selecting Run as then Java application. If you encounter an exception like class not found exception, it means the MySQLJDBC driver is not added to your project. To fix this, download the MySQL connector for Java from the official MySQL website. Go to the Archives section, select a platform independent version, and download it. After downloading, extract the files. In Eclipse, Right-click on your project and select Build Path, then Configure Build Path. Navigate to the Libraries tab, click Add External Jars and choose the extracted MySQL Connector Jar file. Click Apply and Close. Now, with the driver added, rerun your Java application. You should see Connection Created displayed in the console, indicating that the database connection was successfully established. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.